But I want snow snub. Blind. Snub blind. How was Alan uh, Alda yesterday? You watched the... Um... Oh, God. I watched Ronnie's masterful interview. Yes. Really good. I mean, they talked a lot about science because Alda's yes. huge on science. That's what he's... Isn't he promoting like he was named... Uh, Probably. He, uh, what was named after him? Uh, I think a moon. Some no, <laughs> some kind of place. A science place. Oh, was oh, named, oh I thought... The Alan Alda Science Place. Oh, I thought he got a star named after him. Nah, that. That's nah. pretty impressive, though. When he's that really into science, apparently. And he he really loves those guys. Yes. And Ronnie, Ronnie did a great, <clears throat> fun interview. And Alda was fucking hilarious. Yeah? Dude, he's hilarious. He's, his timing is unbelievable. He makes wow. fun of himself and his own, like, he calls himself arrogant and pop. Like, you know what I mean? He just, he knows oh, wow. who the fuck he is. He How, knows he's Alan Alda. How old is he? I think 71. That's it, huh? So I watched from uh, the little room on the side there. Yes. And uh, he actually walked back in there. I was such a. I walked out to say hello to John Jones because he was leaving. Uh -huh. And then, of course, I missed Alan walking in. So I, I trailed in and. Uh, Alan. Al. First of all, you missed his age by six years. How old is he? 77. Oh, my right. God. He's 77. Oh, and uh, he's been <clears throat> married since 1957. No yeah, way. Yeah, his wife, Arlene, the same woman. No way. He's got three daughters. He's he's Wait, a very, 40, very liberal pro-woman guy. He loves 57? women. 57? That's 56 <laughs> years ago? He's been married 56 years? Bob, 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 he got married bob, at 21? That's yes, so. And he's with the same chick? He went through all that mash time where Dude. every... Woman wanted to fuck him. He would have, I think he would either fly shit. home on the weekends or fly out to see her. I read something about him when he was doing MASH, and yeah. he would miss his wife when he was away. He's just he's one of those guys. He just loves being married, loves his wife. And Good for him. That's one of those couples where if one dies, the other one dies like a week later. Yeah. <laughs> you know those couples? <laughs> like ducks. So uh, he came in the back, and I chatted with him briefly. Uh, he was signing a couple things, and uh, I asked, uh, I think I said something about how do you take Dialogue. I had to ask him an acting question. I'm like, how do you take dialogue that you see or, or, or a written word and just make it yours? Cause huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Goes, yes, yes, you do it. Yes. But he's such a great. <clears throat> like, you I never feel like Alan Alda's acting. It always looks yeah. like he just showed up and is talking because he's so natural. Uh -huh. And I forget what his answer was. So, so like, it's Alan Alda. It's Alan Alda. Oh, but, uh, he you could probably listen about, to him, right? But he said it was hard. He said it's hard sometimes because sure. a lot of it's not written. Like people speak and. You got to kind of, I'm like, will you change words at all? He said, I try not to. I try to keep uh, it true to what they wrote. But he said, don't ever say it the way you think you want them to say. He actually gave a pretty good explanation. You know what amazes me when you watch good acting is a fucking uh, head move or an eye thing or a, yeah. like a, a twitch. Like, like you could stand there and read lines and actually make it sound convincing that you're reading. But it's these little movements of the head. Like you look away from the person and then look back and deliver the rest of the line. Like... Who the fuck? How do you know to do that? Not just stare at the guy. Hi, I'm here to deliver the pizza. It's, it's got to be it's natural. Called, it's called business. Huh? They call it business. The business of show? No, when you're doing <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, I'm going to pick up the pen right now and twitch my eye and oh, make that's my hand business? do this. You know, is that uh, Vince D'Onofrio? Yeah. yeah. A lot of business. A lot of business Does in it? his acting? I did the Law and Order with him, and he stole my oh! business. He stole your business. When I walked in, every time we rehearsed a scene, I put my hand on his shoulder, and I looked at him to deliver my line. That was my business. My ah. hand is going on your shoulder. All right. So the first take when I came in, he put his hand on my shoulder. Mother he oh, stole my business. Because he probably hated that you were doing that. No, he, he, he's, a, he's that guy. He does weird oh, little yeah. finger movements. Private and then pile. Those little things, and every take is different. There's like, how would you know to like that that line needs you to like suck something out of your tooth in the middle of it? <laughs> so yeah, we're thinking of going to Texas, and then uh, gonna head to Oklahoma. How the fuck do you know to do that? Robert Duvall does a lot of that, like he yeah. grinds his teeth. <sighs> yeah. Uh, who else does? Hey, Pacino does a lot of hands. Why is your chair yeah. so high? What do you mean? It's the way I sit. <laughs> what are you doing? That's how I sit. That's how I'm... He's in the high chair. What are you doing? Look how high up Lily. Jimmy is. That's how I sit. This is how you've been Why sitting? Are you sitting yeah. there like that. I'm tired of being a shrimp -o. <laughs> He lifted his chair up, his office type He's chair. He's so much as higher high than as us it right ever now. Goes. I want Rhonda to think that I'm a, a powerful or, or oh, a guy that she that might be interested happen. in. Hey, Rhonda, what's up? <laughs> oh, Iraq. That's how he was sitting at the Alan Alda taping. Really? Oh. He had his hands like folded on his lap, and he was kicking his legs like a little kid. I lost your it. feet away off the ground. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah. You mean metaphorically? Yes. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was really cool to watch yeah, Alan Alda. 
cool. I, I got to ask Bobby about this uh, to retell the story he told us at the Amy Schumer premiere. I, oh, I was yeah. dying, man. It's, I had the um, uh, obviously you're very close to having a kid. Month, a month and a week. Wow. Away. So from, you're in the it could happen today zone. I hope it does. I gotta go. I'm going away. I got one more week where I'm away. I hope that I, I just don't want to. You know, have one of my friends. I don't want Norton. Dude, it's, oh, everything's all right, dude. Don't mess me. <laughs> dude, everything's oh. good. And I go to the hospital, and the kid grabs my finger. Oh. Da -da. Da -da. No, no. Da -da. The first smile the boy has is at oh. me. Yeah. <laughs> then he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I have him chipping by the time you get home. <laughs> like when he's crying. <laughs> I go. Sis, sis. <laughs> and he stops crying. His first little smile is up at me. I put my finger there and just grabs it. <laughs> <laughs> and he can't smile unless I'm there. Uh, yeah. So the Kellys have to put in a picture of me over the fucking crib, like in the mobile. Oh. To calm the kid down when he's still mobile. Or, or whatever it is. <laughs> Bobby's in training, though. <laughs> Bobby's getting ready for the babies. Yeah, yeah. He is. all sorts it, of stuff is going we had this, on. Baby uh, classes and whatnot. Well, we, I didn't want to go to baby classes. I, did, I don't like going. I, other couples annoy me. They want to be yeah. friends. Mm. And uh, so she hired this doula to come. It's a doula. To come to your house. A doula. That's yeah. what they call them, doulas. Yeah, what, are you fighting with swords or something? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that was the first chip that I almost didn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. So what's the doula do? She comes walks in. Walks you through what you're, what to expect, she, I guess, well, right? She walks you through from now until after the baby comes out. All uh -huh. the crazy vagina stuff and she had like she well, first of all she walks in she's one of the most beautiful human beings i've ever seen black mulatto like cosby kid the good looking one you lost anthony five <laughs> seconds no kidding <laughs> she was she was gorgeous just different genetics than me and my wife like we're sitting lower in our chair uh, our shoulders are humped over this girl was unbelievable she sits down and she uh a mula doula. She takes out all her gear, <laughs> and she goes through all this stuff. <laughs> Jesus. And then she she grabs my wife. She's like, okay, we're going to do some uh, to some exercises, to some massages. So she puts my wife. My wife's in, she's in yoga pants and uh -huh. like a T-shirt. Huh. And she gets on the couch, and she goes, okay, get on all fours. So she puts my wife on all fours on, my, on my couch. Huh. A very small apartment. Sure, sure. It's not like we have a yoga room. So right. now you got this hot chick and your so wife's on I got my, all fours. I got this chick behind. She gets on her knees behind my wife. Of course. Oh. And I'm sitting wow. up. My, my, my junk is up by my wife's head. Oh, what have we got here? <laughs> right. Then she grabs my wife's, the sides of her hips and her ass. Sure. And she starts, like, massaging, but uh. opening and, like. <laughs> what the fuck is going I'm on? I'm not kidding, dude. My wife is. She's, she's like, opening up, up your, uh, yeah, your the, wife's uh, but, yeah, but, butt and, crack? Yeah, just every, like, just opening it. Oh, and, sure. She, like Jimmy, techni sure. techniques I used when I was like 17, 18, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. when you saw Prince and Apollonia, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> we massage chicks. <laughs> and my wife's like, that feels good. And all these, vo her, the, both their voices went down. Oh, and man. She's like, does that feel good? And I'm like, she's like, yeah, that feels good. I'm sitting there and I'm like, I, do I pull my do I pull my dick out? Like is this, is this, like, is this what is this I cool? think it is? Is this, is this cool? Right? <laughs> is this okay? Yeah, yeah. Like we turned on. Like I'm like I'm looking at her like at any minute she's gonna wink and my wife's gonna go yeah, happy yeah. birthday. Ah, <laughs> you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I you were a doula. I'm just gonna pull my mediocre <laughs> shiny dick out. <laughs> uh, I I was fucking so turned on, and then she had me get behind her. And oh. oh, I was just staring at the girl's face as I'm rubbing my <laughs> wife's You're having ass. Kind of a threesome thing yeah. going on there. Yeah, yeah. It was so good. I had wow. flop sweat. It was just this. Oh man, beautiful moment. And you know, she, those girls, the doulas, are kind of hippie people. Yeah. Oh. So there's that possibility. So like, they're down for whatever. Well, you know, it might be some tantric shit. No, this is good. I'm going to show you with my clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> if you could take out of my pocketbook. Uh, this is called a, a doula brush. Ah, right. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how I want the cervix to look. 
Come here, Bobby. Just stick your fist. Oh my God. Do you have a nice body? She was smoking hot. Smoking yeah. hot. What is what is a doula do? Are they, only for doula. Pre- are they only for pregnant women or are they for like is it like a yoga thing for everyone? Jim's no. like, can I hire one? <laughs> <laughs> of course I can hire one. Can I hire that's that one? That's, that's, one. that's, that's the reason why he's asking. Jim's yeah. gonna yeah. hire yeah. Do they have to be pregnant? Are they uh do they know massage? She walks and goes, Where's your wife? Oh, oh. She'll show up, I'll be like, I have a log I'm trying to get out. I'll ask you to massage my tummy. A do doula. <laughs> 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 oh my God! Between us, we're in our nineties, and that made me laugh. <laughs> but do they do they only for pregnancy, or are they for what does exactly a medulla do? I'm not a mud doula. I'm a medulla. <laughs> A medulla? A medulla? Whatever, I'm going to do shit. What do I mean? Oh, is it? Uh, yeah. What is it? What is it? It's like, like from this time until you bring the baby home. boy. <laughs> Maduba amblagada. She does. Ma- mama says. Mama says. Does she do anything after the baby's born? She Not can, really, well, right? Yeah, no, she can come. They try. It's it, Look, all this stuff is a scam. I, I, I didn't know how baby <laughs> stuff is all... Fucking a scam. Yeah, it's big I remember, business. I don't remember any of this shit. I remember nah, nah, my nah. mother was telling me she had me. I didn't know my mother was in like some fucking crit, like Catholic home because my mother gave birth to my sister and me very young. So they just oh, throw boy. you in this oh, home no. for unwed Good old mothers. Days. Yeah, you're a burden. And they you you didn't go in the hospital. She went in the hospital by herself. Back in the day, nobody came with you. No, it was just wretched old nurses with hats. Yeah, and that's and you gave birth, and then you were in the room, and then people could come. Yeah. After the mm. husband stayed in the waiting room, pacing. There was no cigars. waiting room. You went. You, no, went, you went to the bar. Yeah. Uh, no, you, you went, went to the bar. Or the bar. Yeah. There was no waiting room. Go no. bye. Right. We'll see you later. We'll let you know if she lives. <laughs> um, that's crazy. Yeah, it was so what they do is they try to at the end, you know, I can I can teach you about, you know, breastfeeding, but oh. I'd have to come back. It's like you really don't. You could just tell me right now. I'm 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 not that stupid. <laughs> right, I'll remember. I, yeah, and I can YouTube a fucking, you know, 12-year-old <laughs> German girl fuck what you want to do is get the breast. Yeah. But yeah, this they teach you a little bit. They want to come back cuz they they'll be part of your life for the next year if you yeah. let them. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. They, yeah. They want to make sure the baby latches on good. Latches. That's right. Gets a good latch going. Yep. And the kid cries not there. Oh, no. Where's the... And they want the husband and the baby. That's what they want. That's why she's hot. She I get a good latch like on the clit. <laughs> I use my I use my instincts from childhood, from infancy, to get that latch I used to get on a nipple to eat for actual sustenance on the clit. I latch. Yeah. <laughs> you know what turns a girl on? It brings out her mothering instincts. If you suck her tits and you hold her tit with both hands, <laughs> and you get her to cup your head. And you, you knead it like a kitten. Yeah, that's really, <laughs> You, like, start doing the, the yeah. like, like, you're kneading dough with your hands. And then I, and, you I, purr. and I'm wearing a little short, and I kick my feet back and forth, <laughs> oh my God. and they look at me. You gotta <laughs> look up at him, too. Spray Jenny. liquid shit on her leg. <laughs> yeah, exactly, on her thigh. <laughs> gotta look her in the eye, too, when you're doing yeah. it. Yeah. Mm, like I'm feeding. <laughs> We should get Terrible. Jimmy a pack and play. I can't. W- I can't wait for you to have the now what moment. That is when you bring the newborn home, and now you you don't have the safety of the hospital where they know what oh. to do and they do everything for you. Scary. Yeah. You're gonna close that apartment door. You're gonna have those balloons in your apartment, and you're gonna look oh, at congratulations. Dawn. Congratulations. You're gonna look at Dawn and go, "Holy shit! Now what?" First of all, we're not gonna have any of that. Congratulations. No. No. I mean, all our family is. Oh, we'll send you in some Boston. Yes. Oh, you know we're gonna have you to want some balloons? No, I'm good. I'm good with the balloons. But, some blue uh, balloons. Have yeah, you well, baby safed your house? Have you? No. Oh, that's you got sharp no. edges. Yeah, it's a later, right? No, nah, you don't need that shit. I have me. a nice sharp drop down my spiral staircase. Yeah, that that's all, you literally have a hole in your that's, floor. I just spent spiral staircase I, is a hole in the floor. I just spent two thousand dollars on like redoing the whole area over there, so it yeah. looks cool. And I'm gonna have to fucking ruin that with some oh, stupid baby oh, game. Yeah. yeah. Why would you do that? What? The whole looks cool shit goes out the window. Oh, yeah. no. My uh, my apartment used to look cool. Yeah. Oh, no. Not so much right now. Just baby toys everywhere? They, everywhere. We look like we're hoarding baby oh, fucking shit. In the corner on the wall is just a drawing. <laughs> just some crap. Do you have any marks oh. on your couches? Oh, God. Everything's ruined. <laughs> oh, God. It's ruined. Everything's ruined. <laughs> Everything's ruined. I spent, I, I spent some good money sure. to make my apartment look kick ass. Yeah, Everything's really? ruined. That fucking. 
beautiful chairs are now not so beautiful. My yeah. couch is like breast milk stains everywhere and, and, and baby formula stains. I have a nice S in ballpoint pen on one of my movie theater chairs. There you go. You know. That's good. And, and yeah. If I had a kid. Oh, forget it. Yeah, from just me, from from people. Me, your brother's kid? It was kid? from a date. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to write help. <laughs> Helps. All my helps. <laughs> all my accomplishments are now just tucked save, away. You know, save me. She, she didn't yeah. have to write to help. Yeah. <laughs> She's done a spell yet. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all my yeah. accomplishments are just in a closet, yeah. way up high. That's yeah, but it. you also live in That's an apartment, it. though. You, you're going to have. Hopefully, you move into a house someday. I'm hoping. And you get your office, and you get your like basement, that. and get all that where back the, where the kids can't go. Right. I have a uh, beautiful desk. It's just oh. filled with toys, and it's really. Just Piles of shit everywhere now. Nobody, God, nobody mentions imagine. this shit to you when you say, hey, "I'm gonna have a baby." Dude, it's gonna change your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be a better man. Things yeah. are gonna be better. Nobody mentions all the other shit: the sleep, the house is ruined, right? You, all the Black shitty trips to Disney World. All your good land. stuff, like, yeah. like you, you, you spent your life getting good stuff, yeah. and then your replacement, as they've been called, yes, they are uh, your replacement. Just screws up your stuff. You're bringing your replacement into the world. <laughs> I don't yeah. mind that. No, yeah. but I mean, as no, far as I... your apartment looking cool, maybe for the first month, maybe. Yeah. And then well, you my gotta... apartment's a lot smaller than yours, as well, we that's know. That's got to be good. Then. You know, I have a one. I have a duplex. I no. mean, it's every it... inch is going to be. Oh, the, if you saw my room now, there's a crib, and it's a fucking giant crib. Yeah. Like this is a this is a mini bed. Yeah. Like there's no need. I I don't remember <clears throat> having my own fucking bed crib. I was on the floor <laughs> yeah, on a yeah. twin mattress with my mom and my sister <clears throat> in my uncle's room. There was oh, 13 shit. of us in a house. <laughs> and you I turned out all right. Not well, I mean, close. <laughs> We're right at the edge. Yeah. We're, yeah. We've been at the edge a few times, <laughs> okay. but I, I pull back at the last minute. <laughs> His family slept like fucking Charlie and Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The fucking hole in the roof. And then I guess your refrigerator has to turn into the Louvre for shitty artwork. Yeah. Is that what happens with kids? Yeah. It's like everybody's house that has kids, you go over, you go to open their fridge, and magnets are falling off, and shitty little yeah. drawings are wisping their way to the ground. <laughs> That's the fucking uh, best. What the yeah. fuck? I got, that sounds like something a comic. That's like a joke. I want to steal that. That's like a joke. Take it away, friend. That's fucking brilliant. And the kid doesn't <laughs> look care. Shitty artwork. The parents care about the art shit. The kids don't. Right. No, so they don't know. And, I, you know, I get up uh, way earlier than the rest of the house, so I find yeah. Go around, and I throw shit away. Oh man! Oh, oh you'll you. learn that trick. Oh really? yeah! Well, not your kids' drawings, right? Oh, some of them. <laughs> not, just the ones that say to some mommy." To <laughs> my mommy. <laughs> no, some of them. And then you you start by throwing broken uh, toys away, but then you realize the clutter's so out of hand, you just start throwing. You're fucking starting to do triage really on the fucking nice toys. toys away, and yeah, the kid doesn't know. It. <laughs> Gotta thin the herd, man. Really? Oh, or it gets out of control. Be great yeah. if he was listening to this show when you came home. He's just fucking eyeballing it. <laughs> <laughs> With my shit. <laughs> how dare you? Yeah, we think I don't have ears. Well, he says, how dare you? And he now says, you got to be kidding me. And then we didn't have the right cheese yesterday, so he said, look what you did. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, uh, little Richie Rich. Look what you did, oh. he, he said yesterday, because we had the wrong cheese. Uh. Here's my goal for that kid to start going, that don't make no sense. <laughs> I, I, I'm not letting. First of all, I, I told him Uncle Paul doesn't doesn't get to come over the house. No, anymore. no, no. Jimmy's nope. great around babies. I gotta tell you. Yeah, but not I'm Uncle Paul. <laughs> I don't want Chip. Edgar can go fuck himself. Oh. Look at the baby. <laughs> I like to touch the forehead. <laughs> Jimmy's very fascinated by babies. I've noticed when he comes over. They're very cute. They are very, very fascinated. Fascinated by yeah. the whole yeah. thing. I'm yeah. very good with babies and animals. And, and, the, and the baby proof six months, and then you got to start worrying about that shit. First six months, you don't really have to worry about that shit. You got Because the baby's just in the bed eating and shitting. Right? But do you have My, things? Like, do you have a coffee table that is going to have to fucking go? No. Is it made out I of, like, it. glass with fucking Dude. armadillo spines on it? <laughs> well, you, <laughs> well, I'm from know. Texas. It's just very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. You remember? Such a fucking I, gun guy coffee oh, table. Please. I had My a, armadillo coffee table. <laughs> I had a beautiful glass table that cost a fucking fortune with fucking fucking sharp edges oh, and we yeah, had to get rid of it oh, now wow. we got a shitty pottery barn thing you had the, the nice glass one that little beautiful. Richard used to lay under. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful though. It was so Sorry. nice. Be the war. Why not? It's a duty joke. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just gave it away too because I, 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 
can, I couldn't charge someone to take my glass. Well, it's beautiful too, man. I, I'm so bummed. But. I think we're gonna have to move and get a, like a house, like really move, move. I don't wow. think I'm gonna do a house though. I mean, I, I think I want a townhouse because I don't want to have to yeah. shovel and I don't want to do the yard. Yeah, raise a city kid. I don't. I, I don't mind a city kid. I don't mind. Yeah. I, he's gonna be born in Manhattan, but. I, you know, I don't, I, I just don't know if I'm going to stay in the city. I mean, you got to go to private school. It's at 30 fucking grand a semester. Or so, or yeah, you, you can't the send the public school. Forget about it. No, not here. Because I have the public Yo. schools around my house, and they're fucking crazy. Yo, I'll tell you right now. My kids start school next year. They start at three now for whatever huh. reason. Three and a half. What the fuck is that? And uh, 21 G's. A 21 month? G's to, a for, year? to send the kid to school to, like, yeah. fucking do silly kid shit. At three, there's nothing they're going to teach. That's, it's a, just... that's a nice one-bedroom in New York, like owning a one, 20, Bobby, 20 something grand. We got out cheap. Kids in our neighborhood, it's uh, 50, 60, 70 G's a year for yeah. a three-and-a-half-year-old. Yeah. We got out cheap with a 21 G's. You ever walk by one of the schools in New York, and it's just loud and obnoxious, and yeah. a ball flies over? Yo, get that! Yeah. I don't want my kid there. P.S. Get his ass kicked. Yeah. That's the fucking... You don't I, want to send him to... I don't want school. my kid to be that fucking ass kicker either. I don't want to be some fucking bully. Because no. he had to be. Because his father is. <laughs> 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 yeah, you got to send him to some proper school. Oh, oh that move to... Well, no move choice. Out, move out of the city. Go to a nice well, little they come out sounding like this. Hello. I know. Yeah. There's so many Great different... Day, Peter. Teach that kid character. Move to, like, Bedford-Stuyvesant. Right. All people are good. Oh, God. There are parents like that. Oh, they move them into the crappiest area. No, you go to that school. you got to learn about other cultures. Yeah. Yeah. Other cultures like Oz. Yeah. Well, it's yep. terrible. Every day you learn what B.O. smells like. <laughs> Dude, the... the yep. <laughs> I went to... A, yeah. They sent me to one of those schools yeah. when I was in punk back in Boston, when I was in my juvie days. Yeah. And I remember I didn't know what, like... like B.O. smell. I just smelled the smell every day. Well, they were probably men was... in their fucking 20s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From fucking yeah. Venezuela. I went to fucking Central Islip. I went to school in Central Islip on Long Island. It was like fucking 85% black. No way. And Yeah, it was wow. crazy. And and uh, and Hispanic. Yeah. And I, I would just get shaken down for money. Yeah. Give me 50 cent. Give me 50 cent. And I'd be thinking like it's cents. You yeah. pluralize that. I wouldn't tell him that. Why would you? Just you. hand it over. Yeah. It'd be hilarious if you gave it to him and then said, you're saying it wrong. Yeah. You're saying it wrong, dummy. <laughs> Took a nice beating for that. Uh, oh, It'd be boy. annoying if you just did it all the time. Then finally, would be like, all right, how do you say it? Can you teach? He'd come in yeah. here. It'd be like a how little movie. Can you teach me how to talk, rats? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As I walk through the valley of the... <laughs> yeah. No, it, was, uh, it wasn't every day, but it was, you know, it's every so often. He would just come around and he fucking and he looked like he looked like he was in his fucking late teens. Uh, I, just a big bruiser. Well, I hung out with those kids. It was either you you got fucked with by those kids or you became one of those guys. And I was yeah. never the tough guy. I just hung out with tough guys and I had that little Spanish mustache. So they thought uh, I was thought you were uh, Hispanic. I was in wood class one day and they were all making fun of these white guys. They were like white people this way. And I turned instinctually because I'm Italian Irish uh -huh. from Boston. You're not Medford. Irish. I am Robert Patrick Kelly. And um, <laughs> they were like, yo, you, you, you Spanish, you Puerto Rican. I'm like, no, nah, I'm fucking Italian Irish, dude. They're like, get the fuck out of here. They thought I passed because I look Spanish. Right. And I hung out with those guys. And then... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. Oh, wow. Shit. Lovely. Come on in. How you doing? Hello, Take hello. a seat wow. right hey, there. Hey, hey. Nice to meet you. Anthony. It's Bobby. Anthony, it's Bobby. Hey. Hey, Opie. Hey, we're on the air. Wow. Too. Yeah. We're, we're on the air. We just do yes. that. Yep. Yeah. Ronda Rousey has Anywhere entered the sit. studio. My God. That's fine. Welcome to the show. Yes. Wait, which mic is that? Why we can't just you had use the, that Because George is coming in, too, oh. so we wanted to have... Which one is that, Six. Sam? Six. Six? Yeah. Hold on. What's up, guys? How, How you doing? doing? There's George right oh, there. Good. How's George? There's a whole lot of testosterone in this room. Yeah, yeah not really. Right. No. <laughs> it's half the room. <laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an illusion. Total illusion. We're <laughs> a bunch of pussies yeah. in this fucking so, room. So, have you been doing a lot of press today? Uh, yeah, uh, most of this week. So, I'm, I'm the guest fighter. So, for uh, 159. Wait, wait, wait. Rhonda. 
He put he's, his chair up extra he put high. His chair up really no, high I'm trying to, to I'm trying to bring it down because it's uncomfortable. <laughs> he's I think he's trying to impress you a little bit. He he, he lost thirty pounds and he's well, feeling good about himself and oh, thanks, Rod. And, uh, and now you have to look up at him. Yeah. A couple athletes You're just a, connecting. <laughs> it's okay, I don't like being seen from a low angle. It gives you extra chin, so Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Looking good up there, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the farther away I am, the better I look. <laughs> you got a great smile. Thank you. My God. Not no, you. Yeah. Me. <laughs> what the fuck? You feel good about me for a minute? <laughs> so are you uh, do you get like cause you said that you're so used to being around like just all male environments. Does that ever get like kind of just shitty and irritating? No, I'm actually much more comfortable in a setting like this. If I walked into a room full of chicks, I probably would have felt like, oh my god. Really? But, uh, yeah, this is. You mm. guys are easy. It's like a, a man psyche doesn't. It seems less complicated than women to me. That's true. We're a bunch of adults. <laughs> <laughs> We're easier to dominate too, I'm sure, like mentally than than women are, because with the stuff that men do to men and women, you know what I mean? It's just a different dynamic. Um. Maybe. I mean, like, with women, I, like, I, I dominate women for a living, you know? So it's yeah. just kind of like, if you mess with a girl, like, they're going to take it personally forever. But if I'm, like, busting your balls, you'll laugh about it and be over it. In 10 right, minutes. right, right. So mm. I'm a compulsive ball buster, so girls really don't like me too much. Yeah, <laughs> I would gather. How do, how do you how did you get into it? Did you, did, were you growing up? Did you have to, you know, fend for yourself? Uh, in the woods, were you raised by wolves? What happened? No, no, no. Um, my mom was the first American to ever win the world championships in judo. And so I started uh, when I was 10. And by uh, six years later, I was on my first Olympic team. I just had a knack for it. Wow. I saw your countdown. Uh, it was probably one of the best countdowns they've ever done on UFC because it was the most real when you talked about your dad and you actually said, you're like, I'm sick of doing this. I feel like I'm fucking, you, you guys get me to talk about my dad to get me to cry. To, it's, I don't. I feel like I'm disrespecting him. It was like the most honest thing anybody's ever said. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I feel like they were, they would just do it on purpose to the point of like, hey, you want to see Ronda cry? Why don't you oh go boy. ask her a bunch of questions about her dad? Why don't you just ask her to recite the whole thing over again? I'm just like, look. I, I, it's funny, the primetime was the first one that aired, but it was the last interview that I did mm -hmm. about it. So I had HBO Real Sports, then the countdown, and then primetime. And primetime was the last one they asked me that question, and I was just like, you know what? This is the last time I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right, and no one's asking me this again. I'm not answering it again. Sure, should yeah. kick their fucking ass. <laughs> I, I literally should have, have no idea what you're talking about Like with that. I guess it was obviously a tragedy in the family, or you just... And Read they, it. I, all right, yeah, no, 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 not no, talking Google about it, it again. No, no. Google it. I am not Google it. it. <laughs> no, what I mean is, is it, uh, is it something Recent or something long standing that people know? It's, it's something long standing that, oh, okay. that people know, and yeah. it's just that, like, oh, it's such a good story. Why don't you tell it again? And I'm like, no. Oh, no Did right. you, have you and your mom ever, you guys fight, of course, you practice together? Yeah. She taught you what she knows. But you guys ever, when you ever fought, do you ever get pissed off? Like, do you ever try to really put an ass whooping on your mom? No, but um, she did stop like um, like spying with me at a certain point, and I never really realized why. And then years later, she told me that like I threw her and broke her hand. Oh, and <laughs> funny, I had she... the same argument with my mother. <laughs> like, she's such a tough lady. She never even said anything. I didn't even realize. Wow. She was like, whatever, you know. Like my mom is like five two and like you know one hundred and twenty pounds soaking wet. Maybe maybe yeah. one fifteen, you know. And then she's just like, yeah, whatever. You know, you broke my hand once. So it was just like it was time to stop. You're getting big. I was like, oh, really? I never knew. I'm going to suck. The day as a parent where you're like, all right, I gotta, I'm going to. I remember my little brother last year, we were messing around, and he grabbed me from behind, and he broke one of my ribs. He just cracked a rib, and I, and I had to go, ah, ah, ah. And he's like, what's wrong? He's got that deep, what's wrong? That Boston, what's wrong, kid? Would you pop a rib, pussy? And I was like, no, I'm good, you cocksucker. <laughs> it's like a shit day in life. <laughs> your, little, your little brother's beating you up. Yeah. Oh. The, uh, obviously, we've seen uh, women fighters over the years. And uh, usually not not the, the most attractive bunch of ladies. I'll just say it, you know, based on what people find attractive. You, on the other hand, ah, different story. You ever you ever afraid of taking like quite a shot to the face and ruining those good looks? There is some equity in being an attractive fighter. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah. I always say you have to watch out for the pretty ones because they get hit the least. Mm. But um, with my nose, it's been broken so many times. I broke it from Cheeto so many times. Like it really? Just, it just Doesn't look like a broken look at nose. Though. I got like a durable little nose. You can punch wow. As as you want. And my ears are already shot. I've had cauliflower ears since I was. Can 16. I see your ears? Because I didn't notice yeah. that. You I didn't notice that either. Oh, yeah, yeah but that bit. doesn't look nearly it's as bad like, as like... It's like the girl version of Call of yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> 
That does not look yeah. like Holy shit. anything. Uh, doesn't look bad at all. Weight Watchers TV dinner. Like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You don't have, power for you, ladies. You don't have BJ <laughs> Penn ears. <laughs> <laughs> they were, dude. When you I can't wear headphones. Them, no. I can't wear like the little ones you stick in your ear. I can't. But yeah, um, yeah when at first they turned like totally inside out and was black and blue. Shit. And I went to high school, you know, and so I was wow. like, she has the plague. Like yeah, no one no knew shit. what judo was. It wasn't cool back then. I did it before it was cool. Did you ever use uh, <laughs> use your abilities in a, a fight, in a real like street fight type problem? Yeah, I've had to defend myself in Daniel San esque situations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I do not want to do this. Yeah, don't do make me. force this situation upon me. I like I disclaimer it beforehand. I was right, like, right. I will have to do something. And then you know You just romp. Yeah. yeah. What's worse than, than being in a bar and you see a girl and you grab her ass and as she turns you see the cauliflower ear? You're like, oh <laughs> boy, no! I fucked up. <laughs> oh, that was that no would, good. That would be a bad sign, right do, there. I mean, do men react to you differently, like when they're hitting on you or whatever? Because I, I, is there like a weird psychology because you're a fighter and there really is that? Th there's always a weird thing where men know that physically we're dominant over women, but with you that's just not the case unless it's a f another fighter. Uh, I'm kind of like caught in this weird space where it's like either guys won't hit on me at all or like the second I meet them they're like marry me like, <laughs> one or the other I was like I just want somewhere in the middle like just ask me for coffee coffee right, right. I like coffee I love oh, coffee Jimmy, there you go. You guys, hey. if you... anyone ever wants to know how to ask me out go offer me a latte that's it Wow, you just there did. you go. That's, that's a yeah, lot well, you easier. Kind of, and you kind of accept it, you too, guys, so I guess we're having coffee. Do you know? <laughs> Thank you for me, though. Oh, I just blew it. <laughs> what a great couple they would be. Oh, yeah, me carrying her bags behind her. All right, which way, honey? <laughs> oh, fuck uh, that. A lot of questions, got, guys. I'm carrying your bags, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, really? Oh, my oh, arm hurts. So embarrassing. Yeah, I, was, I got you, hon. No <laughs> A lot of questions I think guys have about, about girls that, that fight. Um, your uh, your breasts. <laughs> what what do you what yeah. like? It, yeah, well, almost it, happened last fight. Your last fight. Mm. What I happened, was, Bobby? Not my fault. It was happening over and over. Like when I she had you in that choke. I don't mean it. It was seconds out. away. I I'm know. like, I was thinking about we're it. We're watching TV. It's like it's coming. It's coming. It's it's almost there. It's there. oh my god, no! I was like, <laughs> me and my wife were like, what? Her boob is gonna pop out yeah. right now. Uh, well, yeah. I did. I told them to get me the exact same outfit as the fight before, but unfortunately, they gave me the same like sports bra for the weigh-ins and the fight. Uh -huh. And so I thought, hey, I'll double up. I'll wear another bra under it. It'll totally work. And uh, well, I'm happy I added to the suspense of the fight. But yeah. it's really distracting. Like I was <laughs> I don't doubt it. And thinking, Titties, no! Yeah, you just <laughs> gotta think alike. You know, it's gonna be all over the internet you, or you, something. You should get yeah. an extra point if you pull a boob out. <laughs> what, about getting, what, they would do. what about getting hit there? Is it is it more painful? I, I would wonder than. Yeah. I mean, I haven't really gotten like sh straight good shot. Locked, no. like, right in the boob, but I mean, like, I'm I'm sure getting hit in the balls is a lot worse. You well, know? yeah, I would assume often. too. How often do you see a guy go to that one and go, Ugh, like right in the chest? Like, <laughs> it doesn't really happen. It's really humiliating that, that she picked me for the breast example. <laughs> <laughs> She looked at me and then reached for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, uh, no. I should have John Jones reach. <laughs> I got my space jam. I'd get him over there. <laughs> yeah, that that almost happened. It's, it's really weird when you watch. Like at first, uh, you, you hear like, uh, oh, well, there's women fighting in the UFC and from strike. And then all of a sudden, it just became this thing where it's like, all right, it's like any other fight. Yeah. Like I mm. found myself getting really invested in it and and wanting to see you win. And you know that happened really fast. Like 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 women in the NBA typically no one cares about that sport as much. It yeah, is, and now it's just mm -hmm. you're just seen as a fighter as well, opposed. You to were at Strike Force. You were the champion over there, and you you just dominated everybody. You and Misha was because so, she's you know she, she's great too, and she's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you guys fought, that was just so big, and that's when Dana White actually took notice because he said he'd never have female fighters ever. Right. And the like never. Mm -hmm. He once said that. Yeah. And they, and then yeah, never. He goes, It's not gonna happen. Wow. And then a year later, after she was in Strike Force, her and Misha had this fight and it was a great fight, great build up mm -hmm. to yeah. a fight too, which matters. You know, when you yeah, when yeah, the, you before the fight I think is more important then the fight when the fight happens, of course that's the important part. But the build up is like, are you interested in these yeah, two you people fighting? Sell it, right. And I you guys, especially with girls, too. yeah. I mean, everyone like, these housewife shows, these multi million dollar businesses. I mean, yeah. what if after all these arguments and stuff, people are so into chicks' arguments? What if they got to like? 
throw down at the watch very them end, right? right fight exactly yeah, yeah. if you see two guys fighting you don't know who they are or, you know or whatever and you watch one guy hits the other guy like oh you know he, that was that he should have maybe ducked from that but if one girl hits another girl and there's an argument involved yeah. I don't care if she just tapped her on the face you're gonna be like oh she flicked her in the nose like oh she flicked her in the nose she doesn't like her like it's yeah. just emotionally invested in girl fights yeah, yeah. true uh, especially when they're hot too I mean her, Rhonda <laughs> and Misha I, two of the hottest yeah. girls yeah in the sport. Do you get any shit talk from some of the girls that aren't quite as attractive? Do you get, yeah, pretty girl, I'm going to fucking bust you up, bust your face up? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. Uh, it was like two fights ago. I was fighting this girl coughing, and she's like, I'm going to hit her in her pretty face and make her not so pretty anymore. Like, <laughs> Jesus. And then I walked out, I was like, she's not going to hit me once. Like, just for some reason, because she said that, she's like, she's not going to touch me once. And so uh, that was fun. How'd that work out? She didn't touch me once. Nice. What are you, 7 and all, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, arm, all arm bars in the first uh, round. It's 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 amazing. It's yeah, unstoppable. Wow. That's the worst part is that everybody knows what she's gonna do yeah. and they still can't stop it. That just Damn. sucks yeah. for an opponent. Like <laughs> she's not gonna do it. Ah, you're, imagine just be, just, ah, shit, just tapping out. Are there any guys that you would think you'd have a good shot against? Yeah, she's there are five of them in this them. room. <laughs> 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 I think, uh, anybody, I feel like I have a chance. You with. Do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any of the guys you'd, you'd take that chance, maybe? Well, would I? I'm not I, saying I you know. Believe the me, sport, it probably wouldn't be a good thing. No, because <laughs> even though I have you know a very healthy amount of self confidence, uh, the any match would go anyway with any person. Sure, yeah. And so if someone turns on their TV and sees a guy beating a girl up, I'm like, good luck making that the most popular sport. <laughs> <in the world." laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, well, we could watch for a couple minutes. Of course. Yeah. Especially Only if she has an apron minutes. on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right. <laughs> Little fucking domestic violence joke. Why? Just why a the joke. Why the armbar? I mean, I mean, not that you, you choose that, but what, why did that become your, your main uh, weapon? Um, well, mostly in, in judo, the refereeing is terrible. And um, Americans are not very popular. And mm. so when my mom was fighting back in the day, um, she is like, you know, a tiny little Latina woman who's walking into a male Japanese sport. No one wanted her to win. Mm. So um, the most definite way to win was an armbar. Because if you throw somebody, they might not count it. If you pin somebody, they might not count it. If you're choking somebody, they might stand you out. The person will be fine. But she would always say, if you get the person an armbar and you finish it, yeah, they can stand the person back up, and they only got one arm. And they're much more easier to beat after that. And she right. just always said it was the most <laughs> definite way to win. And so um, wow. I, I always felt like I was fighting against the referees. Like I had to try and win so fast and so efficiently that mm. they couldn't stop me. Mm. And so that's why we kind of gravitated more towards the arm bar. It was less, smart. You can't argue with it. Right, real I smart. Really, I've had them, like I said, double, I have fighters should do moves on me, but really like low fucking level, to, just to feel it. And an arm bar... The first one I did it was BJ Penn. I couldn't believe how much it hurt. Like, I knew it hurt from watching it, but you don't realize that you're being stretched, like, two ways. Like, you're being pulled out that way, and your chest is being pulled. Where now, does it hurt the most? I don't... I, don't, I would say in the... Uh I don't know. It was like this. It's hard to. It's like when you get kicked in the balls, is the left or right one more unpleasant? It's, just, <laughs> right, right. it's, it's this dull throb through your like whole. Like your chest is ripping open on one yeah, side. Yeah, and, and you just know that ugh, that you you're, sound fun. you feel helpless when it's happening. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah. And when what real, would be the injury if it keeps <clears throat> going? Wait, we can swear in here? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do I this, Rhonda. Wait, the fucking swear the fuck out of here. AM shows are like, don't say titties. Nah. I felt bad for saying titties. I was like, I got yelled at for saying titties. No, man, let it fly. Oh, man, I no. didn't even know. Oh, good. You got Thanks a good potty mouth, do you? Well, yeah, but what it's would not the... doing me any good. I'm almost mm. fucking done. What would... <laughs> <laughs> what would the injury be if the arm bar keeps going? It's a hyperextension of the elbow joint. Uh, oh, yeah. that doesn't sound good uh, at all. That Didn't Jones in his fight way. with Vitor Belfort? Yeah. It looked like I mean, he was he, Vitor yeah. was hanging, and Jones's arm bent almost like a knee, a knee in. And I was like, he's a tough. Yeah, fuck. You can also yeah. pop. You can also break the bone right here. That yeah, happened or, with or that. Like shoulder that shoulder Frank shoulder. Frank uh, Mir Mir did that too. No, a guy. He did it like in the middle of the bicep. I, did, I don't think it was down here. I think what was it? it what was his name? Tim. Then he, he remember he popped the bone out when he. Pop the to win oh, the championship. Man.
Nagara, the second time. No, that was, uh, I'm talking way, oh, way back. Way Tim back. Sylvia. Tim Sylvia. Oh, he yeah. actually, he had the arm bar and he wouldn't, he wouldn't tap and the bone, you saw the bone just pop up. Oh, How the yeah. fuck do you not tap at that well, point? See, that really shows a lot about both people though. You yeah. Know? It's like John Jones, I had a lot more respect for him after that fight because yeah. you could just tell he was like, no, like, it's not today. No, like, I'm, I'm willing to give up my arm. No. I'm willing to give up at least 20 inches of that reach. No. And, uh, <laughs> when you see like just that refusal in some way, yeah, yeah. I'm just so impressed with it. I love him. He's That's awesome. Wild, man. Yeah, he really is. Uh, so you're promoting, by the way. They, they're telling us in our earphones. We only have a couple of minutes with Ronda because oh, she's doing it. a tremendous amount of press. Um, is you're promoting a UFC uh, 159 this weekend, right? Yep. And it is uh, you know we had Chael in yesterday, so it's, yeah, uh, you know he was Jones. Great. Started, yeah, he was great. Chael's a man. But it was weird. I, I saw Jones briefly after he was. He came in later. And uh, he looked very calm and very relaxed and really fucking ready to fight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just not a ring I'd want to step into, or anyone for that matter. <laughs> I'm saying that like I cut the fucking line of John Jones. <laughs> and I just shut my fucking fat face. And I was still okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, chill nah, I'd go nah. with. I'm, I was the breast example three minutes ago. <laughs> It's uh, at the Prudential Center tomorrow. In, uh, uh, Saturday. No, I'm sorry, Saturday, New Jersey. Tomorrow's the weigh-ins. Uh, uh, 7 o'clock West Coast, 10 o'clock uh, here on the East Coast. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster or uh, do what I do whenever I'm on the road because I'll be in Austin. Just fucking order it online if yeah. you're not here. Because yep. uh, the streaming for UFC is, is amazing. Yeah. Like, even on fairly shit connections, you can still watch the fight and really, really... Uh, and of course, yeah, pay-per-view. You know, pay-per-view or whatever, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking yeah. computer. What a fucking dope I am. <laughs> you know, yeah, if you're a fucking rest area. Oh, very cool. Oh, man. Yeah, you're fucking great. And she's great. hosting I mean, the uh, new the yeah. new season. You, you're hosting the new season of oh, uh, All Open Fire. Yes. Half guys, half girls, same house. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, should sure. be interesting. It's going down. Yeah. A lot of fucking. <laughs> I think okay now we always have the fighters do something to me um, and I, right. I've been advised she just knocked him out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, be I've been advised not to let you do it people have said don't let Rhonda do yeah. it she'll fuck you up oh. um, but I you seem really nice and I trust you um, <laughs> but honestly because I've had them all do it and I, it's not some test of like I'm a guy girl do it believe me it's not that I've had mm -hmm. I, oh he's he can't tap out quickly enough. I really can't tap out fast yeah, enough. Yeah. And Fado put him in a choke. It was the one of the best. Just oh, oh, he made a sound. To be choked by Fado. I he, certainly did. He yeah. Went, oh yeah, oh, that he sounds went, amazing. Yeah, That's and he enjoyed it too because I was really in pain, and he just kept smiling and redoing it. He's a fucking. Yeah. Yeah, he enjoyed it. No, <laughs> it was a He's my sound. favorite, all time favorite. Love yeah, I, I I loved him too, and uh, and Jones, uh, John Jones, almost made me vomit by putting his uh, his shin in my upper thigh. Like I had never taken that kind of weird <laughs> shock to the body, oh, and that fucked me up badly. So I won't do any more leg stuff. Um, which, what would you want to do to me? Like, uh, and I will tap fast. What do I want to do to you? Yeah, that's probably, you know, avoid you is probably the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Could you put them in on some kind I, of... I would love to feel an arm bar if you would do it really, like, lightly. Okay, um... No, the left arm, because the right one's already in bad shape. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, the whole idea is you just want the, um... Because it's a straight joint like that. It's not like a ball joint, like your shoulder can go all the way. Yeah, yeah. Your elbow only goes one way, right? And so, when you get to this point, as long as you keep some sort of support behind the joint... And then you press the hand the other way. You see how it starts to like hurt. Right, right. Now, how, now if we were tied up, if if we, if we were like in it, how, what position would I be in where you so have I'd that? I'd have one leg across your neck, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd have another leg across your stomach, and I would pull your arm up in between my legs. Oh, and then oh. I would have to arch you know, my back until your elbows stop. Like, oh, why did Why Jesus. did Dana not want this? Uh, <laughs> no, Dana, I don't know. Dana didn't advise me. Uh, I'm talking about women in the UFC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, it, it sounds so fantastic. Awesome. It totally, sounds so cool. I know. I, I, I wouldn't want to yeah. watch that. They're like, okay. I know. Yes. I'd, like, I'd like that would be the that would be the, the fucking the worst time to ever tap when she's laying with her legs across you. Like, I really don't want to, but I, <laughs> I, I, I just ripped out of the socket. Like, I just love being here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good luck trying to lick your elbow the rest of the day. <laughs> I kind of wanted. I kind of wanted not not a full one, but uh, yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I kind of want to. I want to choke him. You should Would choke, you choke him. me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, not not. It's weird. If he, if this was a guy fighter, none of it'd be fine. Yeah, but yeah. Since yeah. she's smoking hot, it's like weird. It's like not on me. But for me, it's you the, choke me. It's the same yeah. thing. Yeah, this is weird. You got to no, find anything erotic about it. Believe me, I've, I've been. You can't do the arm bar. The full arm. Well, whatever Ronda wants to do. Yeah, Ronda, would you like to do that? Well, we'd have to lay him on the floor. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Jesus. There he goes. Oh God. Oh, right. I, 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 will, I will tap quickly. Hold on a second. I got like a full like coat on. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
<laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I got it. On the ground, or do you want me to put you there? No, I'll lay. I don't <laughs> Which way do I go? On my back or my... Uh, they're trying to open the door. Uh, oh, oh, my okay, goodness. There we so go. go no one else back. comes in. Okay, there we go. All right. I got heels on, so, okay. you know, close your eyes. I don't want to throw a leg over. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, can, can you feel me tapping here? Yeah. Okay, oh, good. God. Now I'm laying there. She's got her legs around me. Uh, you have to hold on to your arms. You have to show how you take it off. I have to, oh, I, I'm holding my hold arm. On arm. I'm holding my one arm, and so she's you have to squeeze she's tightening up. Like and, that, right? Yeah. And, um, to come up to their wrists. So okay. You hold on oh tightest. Yeah. And, and she's got my neck too. Towards the head. Uh, yeah, that was pretty effortless. Yeah, I just lean, and then you lean back. And and this is as far as your elbow goes, right? And I was like, oh, oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I heard something crack. I was trying to get really gentle. Oh. It was, it was, she was very gentle, but as soon as you lean back, I could feel that my arm would fucking, would pop. That was really, uh, it was fun and unpleasant at the same time. Thank you for being gentle. It was fun, pleasant. That yeah. Was, <laughs> that's exactly how she felt, fun but unpleasant. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was uh, impressive. So we have... Uh, I guess the, we have. Uh, should we take a break? Or should we keep going? Because we yeah, have. Yeah, do, do uh, just a real quick we can break. Do, we can do a two minute break. Yeah, two minute. Okay, two minute break. Right, we'll be right back. Just a, yeah, all right. You'll be in the show on Sirius XM. Quick break. We just took a quick. Uh, yeah. Just to get our pictures. Yeah, Rhonda. Get our wow. photos, and uh, now we have uh, George St. Pierre yes. in studio. You're promoting a book. You're not promoting uh, UFC this weekend. Uh, yeah, uh, my book, but uh, UFC as well. You want to talk UFC? Yeah. We talk UFC. Do you you guys like going to fights and watching other fighters? Because I wouldn't want to watch someone else doing the same thing if I wasn't doing it at the moment. Uh, it depends on who you know. Uh, mm. But I do like uh, it's a lot of fight, a lot of uh, guy that I like to watch, and I and I learn learn from them. Who do you like mm. to watch? Uh, John Jones is very good. Uh, th this weekend, actually, the two guys are fighting in the final. They're very good. I, I really enjoy watching them. Yeah, I like. I think Jones is, and I like both of those guys. I kind of want to see mm -hmm. Chael win, but I think Jones is. It's just a little too big for Chael. Yeah, Jones is big guy. Yeah, but then on the other hand, uh, we never see John Jones fighting off his back, and Chell, you, you can put him on his back. So, you know, mm. his style make fight. It's going to be a very good fight, regardless of what's going to happen. Uh, I think it's going to be very entertaining. Yeah. I was reading through your book. I didn't finish the book. They, I just I, I didn't have time to, but uh, I was amazed to read. Uh, it's called, by the way, The Way of the Fight, and George is doing signings here. Uh, 8 o'clock at bookends tonight, which is in uh, Ridgewood, New Jersey, and... Uh, uh, I think the 26th is tomorrow at the book review in Huntington, Long Island. So you can you can meet George at one of those two places. And uh, were you bullied when you were a kid? I was amazed to read that. Uh, yes, I was. I grew up in school. I had problems and I uh, got picked on a lot. Uh, while growing really? Up. Yes. For what? Well, I was not a, a popular kid. Uh, was not popular with the, with the girls. I was uh, I was very shy. I, I didn't have any friends. And I'm from a countryside, and I went in school. So yeah, I had problem growing up, you know. So were, you, were you small at the time, or? My small, yeah. I, I had my uh, what do you call a grow, grow sperm mm -hmm. uh, later. You know, I had it late. So the guy they had it before uh -huh. me. So yeah, but it was mostly. The, by a delinquent teenager, uh, they were in my school. They called uh, TGA. It's it's a delinquent teenager problem. They were older and and mm. they were delinquent uh, people. You know. Did you ever go back and try to find those guys on I, Facebook? No, 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 just no, laugh, no, no. Laugh at the bald fat guy with <laughs> nine kids. Yeah, uh, you, you know, I, I met one one time. I remember I met one in the in, in um in a in a store. You know, in a in a mall, and I I I knew he recognized me, and I recognized him, so I shake just. Wave my hand, you know. I don't have any uh, anger towards them. Yeah, I, it's yeah. past when we're young, we do stupid things, and uh, no. He went, he went back to Chick Fil A and started shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. How far into your fighting career when you saw this guy? Uh, I was I was champion, you know. Yeah. Oh, so I, I saw in the mall, and I, and I walk, and he, he he looked down. He pretend he did not recognize me, but I knew he did recognize me. He knew who I was, but I, you know, I don't care. You know, I'm not gonna yeah. do anything. It would be crazy, though, to pick on a kid as a young kid, and then he's the champion <laughs> that would of suck. fucking the world in UFC and fighting. Oh. Yeah, but this guy can say, oh, I beat the, I beat this guy yeah, when I was, I when beat when I was the young. <laughs> I beat the champion, so I'm the uncrowned champion oh, yeah, of the UFC. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I took his fucking loonies. What is it up there? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's also... Uh, you know, oh, I forgot what I was going to say because you asked that question. Oh, you were, uh, how afraid of you were you weren't going to fight again when you had knee surgery? 
I was scared, but I, I'm going to tell you the truth. When I went back to my fight against Carlos Condit, I knew my knee was 100%. I was not concerned with that because I went through hell in training and uh, put myself to a... a to much worse in training than in the fight. And you, you heard it how? You heard it in training? I heard it in training. In the beginning, I didn't have the symptom of an ACL, didn't have any swelling, so I thought it was a, a hamstring. Mm -hmm. And a month after, after hard training, still, I, I still felt my knee was unstable, and, and the doctor said, we'll take a picture, and take a picture, and then I, I had to find out the best doctor, best rehab, I make my research. Flew to LA, stayed there for six months, and... Uh, <laughs> A good experience, you know. I made some Six friends, months. and I started writing the book. That's how everything started. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. because I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't walk. You know, I was in bed, couldn't yeah. train. I was only doing like handstand, like crazy stuff with my upper body. Upper body, huh? Yeah, and and uh, rehab every day. So I was writing. I was in bed uh, most of the time. So I was writing stuff. You know, uh, do you really? Through my head. Do you really have to watch what you're eating when you? Can't work it because I I no. can imagine you could probably put on weight really easily. No, not me. I'm, I'm really yeah. I'm lucky. I'm I don't I don't have I don't have diet. Uh, my my oh, sister okay. my family is like that. My sister they don't they never did they never even done a push up in their life and they they fit. You know? Really? Yeah. 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 When you Bobby's like that. When you hurt your ACL, oh, did Bobby. you scream anything like my my I broke my knee, dude, or <laughs> anything? Yeah. Did you scream at all? <laughs> yeah, I broke my ACL. It hurt, but 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 I, it didn't feel. It was an ACL, like it was weird. It was an hyperextension, like it was the way it was. The doctor explained to me that it, it happened very rarely. But yeah. I, it, it, I broke it, but it happened very rarely the way I did. Yeah. So was it wor oh, sorry, was it worse the way you had it, or better than most? That is, it could have been. No, no, it could it could have get worse. I, I was lucky in my bad luck because. Then I went to see a doctor after, and they make the physical test in man manually in Canada. Oh wow! And in US is different. The health system is different. I think they, for athletes in in US they're more professional than in Canada because in Canada <laughs> you don't pay, but everybody has the same treatment. So doc, they go fast, you know. Oh, they go man, you, they right. check, they check physically. Oh no, you don't. I don't think it's your ACL. Your knee is fine. But they physically, when you do that, they test the physical test for an athlete. The muscle can hold the knee in place. That's what they told oh. me in US. So they say they should have took the picture. So they they didn't. They'll just they, jiggle your leg and go bang. You're fine. Walk yeah. it off. Yeah. Exactly. Holy shit. No, no, but I mean, and it, it's not like that, like that everywhere. But but I I didn't know what any better at the time. Right, I didn't, right. It, it didn't have the symptom of, of an ACL. It didn't have any swelling. I said my my knee felt hurt, weird. I didn't know if it was my knee or the bottom of my hamstring. Mm -hmm. So they they do the physical test and they say oh it's probably your hamstring. So I went to train, but what I could happen because I didn't have ACL, I could have when I, while I was training, I didn't have any ACL. I was sparring, I, I flew in, oh in sparring with Victor Belfer and all those big guys. I was sparring hard. I could have hurt myself because I didn't have ACL. I oh, could have tore yeah. my MCL and PCL and and all meniscus. It would yeah, have, it could yeah. have been, this would have been bad for me. So I've been lucky in my bad luck. If you and want to and your training is, I mean, you train all over the place. You don't just stay in one spot. You train in New York. You train up in Montreal. You, yeah. You go out to uh, everywhere I go. I have to go a lot. I have, I have to. I have a lot of places that I go for business. You know, so I'm like I was in LA, like for business stuff, like or, or like earlier this for two weeks, and I have place to train in Los Angeles. I have Freddie mm. Roach and New York. I go at Hansel Gracie, Phil Nurse. And everywhere I go in France, I have place. You know, in Brazil, I have place. Uh, so depending where I am, I have place. But normally, I'm I'm in Montreal, Canada. Right. You said something too in the book, which I thought was interesting. And I'm come reading because I've kind of wrote it down as a quote. You said there's no uh, there's no such thing as a normal relationship in my life, and there's no such thing as a, a normal friendship in my life. Why Why is that? Uh, because I'm a uh, hundred percent dedicated on, on what I do. What I mean, normal relationship. Uh, Talk about let's say you talk about a woman, because my my life right now I I, I don't put my relationship first. Mm -hmm. You know, like a normal guy has a normal job, will put his relationship first and, and family first and and the, the work too. Right. I can't do that. My job doesn't allow me to do that. Some guy do it, but I believe for me right now I want to be the best at as, at, at this. I need to focus 100%. So my job will come first. So yeah, for a woman, yeah. it's very hard to come first again. You know, they, a lot of guys, they don't accept that. So like I say it's not normal. It's not a normal uh, relationship because I always have to travel, do my thing, put this, what I have. That's, to, uh, to reach uh, my that's goal very first. honest. I'm going to call it honest. No, it, it, it is honest. And it's, it's also, though, I, I, I could imagine girls would probably be like, no, it's okay. I'd be fine with taking second for that because I understand you're very dedicated. To and then as time goes on. 
So, oh, where do you got to go this weekend? Yeah, but hey. Man. I'm going <laughs> to call my pregnant wife right now and tell her to beat it. <laughs> it's hard to understand. I know, I know a lot of people are put in the same situation, but, it, it, you know, it's hard to understand. Yeah, yeah. But girls, wow. again, girls think they can handle it, and, yeah. uh, and they start getting frustrated. Do you want to bring a woman with you when you're on the road? Do you want her to be there with you? Or, or, or do you? Because there's a story about Chuck Liddell, like a girlfriend fighting with him right before you had to go down and fight. It's like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, like, like it, <laughs> oh my God, it was like yeah. she threw an ashtray at him or something. Uh, it was like fight night. And, now I'm going to ask you a question, guys, and, and uh, it's the same analogy. Uh, back in the day when like the gladiator, the Spartan, used to go in the battlefield, did they bring their wife with them? I don't think Absolutely so. Absolutely not. No. That's me when I'm going in a, for the week they of brought the fight. The, they brought our head. <laughs> and, and I mean, when I go to the, the week of the fight, the week of the fight, yeah. uh, you know, I, even if I would be married with kids, I would go only with my, uh, my army, right, my, my, right. my coaches, my, because I'm in the mindset that I'm not there to... I have a, you know, to be tender, to be, yeah, that, you, you know, I'm going, I'm going, I have a job to do. Then after the fight, I'll, you know, I you can, can go yeah. back to, to this, but like the week of the fight, it's important for me to focus on what I need to do. Sure. My, my life, my well being is on the line. Mm-hmm. You can always tell a guy who's going to lose when I, you see the pre fight and he's training and his kids are running around the gym uh, and he's bad. picking them and the other guy's just, you know, picking up tires. And no, but, 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 but what, 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 what the woman, what the girl, that you, what, what the wife need to understand if you're married with kids like you say it's your well-being is on the line and the well-being of the family because yes. if you win that's my that's my paycheck that's you know so right. I need to, that to provide you know yeah. so you know what I mean that's well, it's that's hard common, to find it would be common hard sense to, though yeah it would be hard to find a, a girl you know and it's hard to find a girl that would understand that mm-hmm. and it's, you know what I mean what is the yeah. myth too about fighters uh, and, and sex before fights we've heard different mm. fighters say different things some say not at all for a week or a month before because it uh, kills your energy, or is that bullshit? That is bullshit, I believe. <laughs> it is. Yeah, they, yeah. they have made study. They say, actually, I think I believe is that having more sex is good for testosterone. Oh, okay. And Ronda Rousey actually said that. She I, I believe it's true. Yeah, yeah, I believe she's right. I believe, like, I mean, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't do it the day of the fight because, you know, you feel like, uh, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. It does. It, I was going to it, <laughs> it takes away your killer instinct, too. Like, you know, I, I never want to do it. Well, on a much, yeah. It's a great point. <laughs> I just want to do nothing after I have sex or after, you know, um, you know. No, no, exactly. You, you, you feel lazy as yeah. hell and then not understand. You pay the person, they yeah. leave. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe if you have a lot of sex, you, you your body need a lot. So you, you have more testosterone. I, I could, I, you know, I believe it could, could, could help in a way, you know, but not yeah, the, yeah. The, right before the fight. Not right before. Would, hell no. no. Hell no. <laughs> and your mother used to play records for you with subliminal messages. I was also interested to read that. Yeah, when I was young, yeah, that like the ocean because I have big problems sleeping since I'm young, and mm. even now, like sometimes I do it some yard because I I think a lot in my head. You know, I'm a, a bit big thinker. And sometimes yeah. I, I get too deep into my thought, and and I have a hard time focusing on sleeping. Yes. So the 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 waves and the the birds, Watching you know, TV. like and pe- like yeah, pe- because I had problem growing up at school and saying, and it was good for the confidence, you know, and I yeah. think you're, you're you're relating your alcoholism to his I'm brain. Like <laughs> Wait, yeah. Stop drinking and go to I'm bed, like, Anthony. No, Wait a minute, my bed's spinning. Wait a minute. But I don't sleep either. I'm a terrible sleeper. So I I have the same thing. I can't fall asleep or I have sleep apnea. It sucks. So I always wonder, what do fighters do? Because I have to get up and do this. But to have to get up and train physically or do anything physical is... Or or sleep before the day of the fight. It's got to be nerve-wracking. He takes a nap after he trains. you, You actually learn how to do it. I, I I I couldn't sleep like earlier in my career. I couldn't sleep the the day. You night were in before. your head a lot earlier. Oh, uh, like it was unbelievable because you always make scenario and if you do that and I'm gonna do this and and sometimes you see yourself win and sometimes you see like, yourself lose. Like <laughs> oh, like sure. my last couple of fights, it's always the same. But the difference between now and before is before I I uh, you know I was so nervous and I thought it was not normal. I was thinking like shit, I'm not sleeping, but my opponent is probably sleeping like a baby. <laughs> That's an advantage. On, the, on me, but nowadays, like I'm, I, I know how I am, and I, I know it's normal, so I know how to deal with it a little bit better. Yeah, when I'm you fought, still nervous, but when, I know how to deal. When you fought Matt Sarah, that's yeah. the one thing you they say that you were in your head. You kept saying that I'm in my head all the time, and then when you went back and beat him and got I, your belt I, back, I, I, I fought, yeah, I fought Matt Sarah twice, but the, 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 I would say that. I, the, the fight that I sleep the less, it was my first fight with Matthews. Yeah. Oh, wow. I did not sleep almost a week. And sometimes oh. I, I was, even when I was sleeping, I thought I was awake. Wow, man. So did that it, it was a crazy tired. feeling. I was dead. I remember after the fight, when all the stress went down, I lose, I lost that fight. I, I slept like a baby for like more than 12 hours. <laughs> but you start to, as, as, as when you need to sleep, you start to panic. 
as time gets on, like, I'm not going to be able to sleep. I'm not going to be able to sleep. And then that keeps you awake. It becomes this fucking yeah. self And then don't forget, thing. you have the weight cut. You're losing weight for the weight cut. You have like some, sometimes you lose like 15 pounds, 20 pounds, you know, and plus all that at this, at this and eight, plus the stress of the fight is crazy. It's you know? like everything that leads up to the fight takes away from what you need to fight. <laughs> it's like, it just takes away like the, the, all the stress, the, the cutting the weight, the that's lack why, of That's why you need to fuck somebody. <laughs> Yeah. Just relax everything. And Lose some have, weight too, by the way, like a couple, <laughs> yeah. couple ounces. Do you have? A, do you? Have, and, and I have to ask you because do you, they? They didn't want to bring you and Rhonda in together. Do you, are you and Rhonda okay, or do you not like her camp, or is there is there an issue there? Cause no, no one, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, with okay. I'm, I'm I'm not in bad term with nobody in the. Uh, in, in, in I have nobody that I'm in bad term. You know. Mm. Uh, you and Nick Diaz friends again? I have a friend. <laughs> like 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 that's the thing with Nick Diaz. I'm I'm fine with Nick Diaz, but I don't know if he's fine with me. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah. Like for me, is I don't you know it's not personal. Yeah. It's a fight now. It's over. I'm happy, you know, and I don't mind. I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I'm good with everybody. If you ask him that question, maybe I have a different answer. I don't know who. Maybe yeah, maybe not. But some guys need to psych themselves up. I think to fight someone and hate them. Do you need to do that, or you can no. like somebody and fight them anyway? No, that's no, even scarier. I, I, I would not mm. like I would not like fighting a friend, but I would. I mean, I don't like to hate the guy. I fought a lot of guys that were nice guy, but most of them they try to you know, to like be arrogant. And, Isn't it like an old school way of fighting? Is that hatred and that that it's like now that you know why you know why it's like that because the promoter the the, <laughs> the people that promote the fight they like to create a story. Sure, they, 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 there is there is we don't hate each other. We just want to be the best at what we do because it's a fight. It's a full contact sport. They feel like they need to create that animosity, and it's true that that build up like make a story it leads more people to look at it you know people I, identify themselves to to this if they only talk about fighting or they're fighting for the title to see who's the best people they can identify themselves because they don't do the same job as us but if yeah. they fight about they talk about two guys that hate each other then now they they will identify themselves to this and and it's tune up i gotta to be fight. on i gotta be honest with you when i'm watching a fight and i see in between rounds like the bell ring They're ready to go to the corners, and they kind of tap each other's gloves out of respect, like, hey, that was a good round. I kind of get like, ah, shit. Like, they're kind of respecting each I other. I like that, and though. I, I'd rather I like they, when two guys... I'd rather they keep fighting after the bell. They got to be broken up. They're clawing at each other. And then they go to the corners, because you know they're just... I, yeah, I like they when really, they beat the... I, I, don't, I don't do that, me. No. I, I, mean, I mean, if that guy... Let's put it this way. If that guy tempt his glove... I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the glove, but if it doesn't, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, Maybe yeah. Because like you see, Carlos Condit and I were a very good term, but we never once yeah, touch a like glove. See, I would Maybe, about because the whole time. I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not a hypocrite guy. I come I come here to knock you out or right. to submit you. Yes. I'm not I try not try to be nice. Not I, I shake hand after. You know? After right yes. right. Not here during yeah, the fight. I understand what it like me. I'm, I don't like that. I yeah, did yeah. it a couple of times because a guy gave it to me. You don't want to be rude. Yeah. Oh yeah. And sometimes it's a reflex. You know, they don't think about it. It's like a sparring reflex, but. I don't. Yeah, I, don't yeah. I, I love when a couple of guys in a round are beating the shit, out, like really beating the sh fighting, beating the shit out of each other, and then they'll tap it like that was good. Good. That I was, don't mind that was after badass. the fight when the fight's over and they kind of give a hug or you know that was good. But during the fight, I like thinking that they don't like each other for some reason. I like that illusion that they are fighting for more than just you know the sport. That maybe there is, you know, this guy's a fucking asshole. I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> you know, yeah, it of, makes more emotion. Yeah, 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 def definitely. Do you uh, now? You're gonna have to go up, or you're gonna have to either go, go up and fight Silver or fight Hendricks. What, I know you don't know what you're gonna do yet, but yeah. what do you want to do? Uh, that, that's one thing. Okay, if I go up, I'm not gonna go back down. Uh, some guy go up, down, up. They play with their weight. I don't know how they do it. I mean, I have an idea, but. I, I, I don't I don't do that I don't, and I, I don't know how they do that go up and down if I go up it's gonna take a certain amount of time because I cannot go up like hmm. gain that much weight I can easy <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I could be a, <laughs> but, but, but it's, it's Silva is, is like 230 pounds walk around yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm 190 pounds it's big weight difference that's heavyweight 230 pounds yeah but he cut down I don't know how they do that but like, mm. like, like the thing is me I I uh, If I go up, uh, it will take a certain amount of time, and the other guy will have to go down. So I want to make sure I do everything I have to do in my division before I go up. Right. But and and don't forget, uh, I have a, you know Silva has a big fight now. He's fighting Chris Whiteman. I know Chris Whiteman, yeah. and it, it pissed me off. You know, people look past Chris Whiteman. He's a badass. He's, he's not. A badass. He's amazing. He's the best guy Silva ever fought. I'm telling you right now, and I believe well, he, Chris Whiteman will win. He yeah. knocked a guy. His last fight knocked a guy with a, an elbow, but it looked like a punch. Like he threw the elbow like a punch. Like Jones. 
knocked him the fuck out. He's a badass. They're telling he's us a... we have to wrap with GSP. It's not we want yeah. to, but they're they're telling us we have to. Um, he's a busy man. Yeah, his his uh, he has other press. Um, so the promotion is for the book. It's called uh, The Way of the Fight. What I've read of it, I loved. It was really, really interesting. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't cheesy inspirational. It was actually really, you put some great stuff about mediocrity and about uh, people achieving greatness. And it was, uh, you know, how people will settle on mediocrity. And it was really a, a very interesting point. It, it's, it's, not, it's not a biography. It's not a book also for MMA hardcore fan. The MMA hardcore, hardcore fan will be disappointed if they, if they buy that book and they think it's about that. Mm. It's about, uh, it's a lot of philosophy. A lot of the, it's it's basically the tactic and the it's the 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 way I the thing is I use in my life uh, where I start to reach where I am right now and it's uh, it's it's uh, it, I think it's someone everyone can apply this for their own life you mm. know, like business or whoever you know they can uh, they can use that to their own uh, ways you know and you can uh, if you want to get a copy of the book and meet George you can. Uh, at uh, bookends tonight in East Ridgewood, New Jersey. I've I've been there. It's a great place because it's all inside, so you're not going to be standing outside in the wind like an asshole. It's uh, <laughs> uh, eight o'clock like tonight. An yeah, <laughs> so there's nothing worse than standing in the wind with a book. But uh, or you could go to the book review uh, tomorrow in Huntington. Uh, over in Long Island, if you don't want to come out tonight, that's at seven o'clock. And uh, and uh, George St. Pierre, but there is an S after George, so don't forget that on uh, Twitter, so you're not following the wrong account. Exactly. And. Um, I guess uh, we have to wrap up the, uh, the yeah. show. Does Anthony have to do a read? Or? Yeah, of course. But uh, thanks for coming in. I always oh, get uh, great stories. Yeah. I don't know if I should take a punch or not. I always what? get the fighters to do one thing to me before they leave. Do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ronda put me in an arm bar. Uh, Can I do a eye gouge? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a kick, kick, kick to the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love to see that. Something yeah, illegal. Something yeah. illegal. Yeah, but no, I don't like you to go full out. Just like light. Like, you know, not too crazy. But just I want to bite him. <laughs> how, how funny would it be if he did gouge my eye and kick me in the balls? Would, <laughs> it, it wouldn't be funny at all. I, I guess I'll take a. Would you? Uh, what do you want to do? I do the, the one inch punch. The Bruce Lee punch. One inch punch. To the arm. Hang on, ready? One. Can you do that? One, two, three. three. Hey! <laughs> oh, you just tapped me lightly. <laughs> I don't want you to sue me. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I mean, you, yeah, right? I know in the U.S., especially in New York, you, you know, See, there's a lot of like, I don't want to get sued. I know, I know. I'm in the, I know lawyers. in New York, I, I, you know. Exactly. People sued each other. It's a smart like, man. Oh. Well, we got video of that, so I already got what I need oh, for the big God. lawsuit. That, <laughs> that was agonizing. The big lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> the big lawsuit. Yeah. You made me feel like a woman. Now I'm in a suit. Yeah. Troy St. Pierre, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.